Hey guys, um, I messed up the intro for this video, so I won't be having one, so I'm going to be playing Dishonored again, and we're going to be doing a bunch of interesting things this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. See you in a minute. Let's enter circle to learn what they got in mind. Oh, I saw the mark. Oh, I still. Okay. Locate them by listening to the song they emit. By default, you can also listen to three bone charms at once. The bone. Okay. Okay. Journal of Granny Rags. Of course, I'll tell you, dearie. I won't keep any secrets from you in the end. All the dreary days of my life are like windows of a house. From the kitchen, I can see out into the garden where the, where the leaves and stalks are brown and bugging. You can see a little lump of dirt where something was wrapped in a blanket and laid to rest along the rows of, of twistling vines. The front room locks out of the street, like lo looks out into the street, where the neighbors are all setting fire to their homes, barricading themselves inside. Warm and snug, dearie. Don't forget about the bedroom, either. It sees into the dreary alley where hooligans are playing a game with an old man. The first two are hitting him with sticks, and the girl with them is kicking at his old, dry old ribs. Oh, to have the, those bones to boil them in a pot. What? No one lives in my house anymore, dearie. No one you'd want to meet. When I lived there with my husband, we were fine, fine people. Vera more, everyone would say. Your house is as grand as Boyle Manor. Better even. Your dinners are lavish and your parties are the best. With that, the young S Sokolov came to paint my portrait when I was still in my prime radiant. When I was still in my prime radiance, he said. And he was barely a man, so young, pointing all the best, all the best people across the land. Point, painting, painting all the best people across the land. Everyone wanted a portrait by his hand. All my friends. I was the only one, dearie. Went with this paint, glistening on the canvas for a pretty coin. But it wasn't all parties and paintings. My husband and I weren't always at home, no. We traveled together, he and I, to the far ends of the isles, beyond even, all the way to the red cliffs of Pan Pandigia, Pandigia, to dig in a rock and crawl through, cra crawl through the caves holding up candles and squinting at the walls. Many precious things we came across, but none so precious as the boy with the black eyes, black eyes, Siri. Okay, so that guy I met, all those marks and bones carved so deep and polished so bright. I brought the old bones home, hid them from my dear husband. Then I learned to boil them and carve them myself. They made such a good present, Siri. The little mute boy took them home. He loved them so. All the time, he came back with new bones for me, holding them up so I could see it in my see it in his eyes. Even though his tongue was still, Granny, his eyes would say to me, "Carve these bones for me. Make me another present." And he went so far, so far, all the way to Dunwall Tower, the royal headsman himself now. The little mute boy and his shiny, shiny sword. Better bones were what I needed, you see. Better bones to carve and polish, scrape and gleam. My dear, dear old husband was always tired. I made him soup and then he was sick. Better bones was all for my little mute boy carved in the name of the one with black eyes. After my husband was gone, given away his birthday. Oh, she killed her husband. Given away his birthday gifts. I don't want to live here, there anymore. So now I'm old and I don't have m many to give my presents to. It's sifting through the garbage for granny rags feeding the little birdies that gather at my feet. 
No one wants to have tea, dearie, especially those rude louts on Bottle Street. Slack John and his boys always meddling with an old woman, just trying to make her way. In the end, we'll be together with them. You and me in the dreary night with the stars above and below. Not always the one with black eyes, dearie. Well, let's get down to it. Okay. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. All Our right. purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Yay! Your exploits are legendary. Campbell I don't even know who I am. <laughs> Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. If you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's okay. a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the He's a good strategist. How did he get caught? All that nonsense. Oh. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. You There's really no right. reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I'm not even an assassin, technically. But yes, I guess I'll do that. Is he in? Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Okay. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> I thought I'd be like, sorry, you can't do that, but I just freaking, hey, guess what? I need to go over there. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be you'd go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. Man walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Yeah, I just freaking read about her. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Okay. Just something I want to do. Bone charms. Okay. Moderate keyhole peeping. I'll do that. Breaking glass sound. Okay. Quick dodge. White rats. I will like that. Gutter fest. White rats can't be. Can't be. Can okay. I void channel. <laughs> Powers effects slightly improved. Fire water. Shut up. Whiskey bottles. Fencer, blaster resistant, uh, good lungs. I really like that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go.
you decide to go up clavering, don't let the guard spot you. Freaking hate rats. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little All these rats crawling all over everything. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> After the city's dead, he won't make it three more months. One, two, three. Good. Keep, Keep them coming. Okay, so I can take this direction. Sorry if I'm being quiet. Um, again, I'm just starting. I'm trying to get used to talking during my playthroughs. Because apparently, from what I've heard, this is a really good game. Wait a minute. I really like that. There's only the one guy. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh jeez, I'm about to die. I got queens. Die. Attention Dunwall citizens. Following direct contact with an infected or wounded individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. If signs of infection occur, report for transport to the flooded district. I really like this. It's going to help a lot. This uh, wall of light. the rats. Okay, so eight is that. Seven is this. Oh, I can't teleport through it for some freaking reason. Oh wait, maybe? Oh yeah, I couldn't freaking tell I met my demise. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Hi- Oh yeah. 
Oh, I have to do it again. What I Well, it was two. I really like that. Be here somewhere. I'll I actually... To the of it. I'm gonna be going with the stealth. There's a phone charm nearby, but I don't know how to fucking get to it. Made it. Freaking so called fish. Alright. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, this continuing crisis. The overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campo for the generous loan of their services. You never listen. Granny Rag. I think the little birdies are sad today. So 
I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, no. Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Ew. This is granny rags. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're hmm. not very polite ones either. Okay. Granny rags, granny rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well. They'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Let us in, Granny! I bet you can't can hear us. Yes. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have granny, it your way. Granny, granny, We're here to take your money, Granny. Granny, Granny. Oh, wait a minute. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Garbage. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. <laughs> Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rules. I think the little birdies are safe. Rinse. Would you look at this? You don't walk in a Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Yes. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Granny rags, granny rags. I think the little brook. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. Yay! I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to Is you. Is that what they call him? Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Hmm. Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Granny Rags. Uh. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Yay, player. Okay. Powers you obtain from runes can be created, used creatively to defeat enemies, to move through the environment, link from roof to roof, possess rats and fish for slow time. Oh, that one's nice. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. Okay. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Okay, so he is a deity. Okay, so I wanna upgrade blink. Play vitality. Um bloodthirst. Possession blend time. I wanna use vit vitality. No, I won't. I'm, I'll save it. Who knows? I might wanna upgrade to my other stuff. But there's I told you the night. Why am I so cold? 
great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. Okay. Um. Okay, so I figured out how. To, okay, so T make uses the regular ones. T uses the magic ones. Uh, mm. Yes, I will. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. Yeah, I know. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Yay, I Another want that. lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Doctor. Galvani. Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. <laughs> See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Okay. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. There we go. I'll mess with my mic a little because now I'm turning up. Shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Oh wait, I wanna mess with one more thing. Okay, uh, controls. Now, um, guard, uh, block. There we go. That way I don't have to, like, go try and find all my buttons. That will be, like, right there. Oh, why did I press that? Okay, rat skewer. I guess I'll get it. I'm not gonna go on it right now. But wait. Uh. Okay, enemy. We're gonna go do. I can get a new power. Um, bend time. <sighs> okay. Uh, completely stops time for a short. So it's time. Agility. Jump high. Uh, blood thirst. Build up adrenaline. Just a minute. I'm messing with something. Uh, no. Let's put it down there. No, it'll be in the way there too. Sorry, you might be able to see this, you might not. Uh, not there because I want to see my achievements. Here, that's fine. <sighs> Bullets. <laughs> That's not what we heard. You sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection. Because I'm going with Bobby's name. What have you done, done to me? You don't want to talk to us like that. The fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach into your pockets and let's get this done. <laughs> Cross the line, and you'll have your throat. 
Anyone there? I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Okay. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. Okay. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Okay, I'm just gonna move something. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Alright. Let's see what you scavenged. Sokolov's... No, I don't have enough money anyways. Alright. I don't want to use all of it. journal it's the fourth day of the month of the rain Morris is sick and so are the children it's avoided it I've avoided it thus far which is good fortune since it's fallen on me to care for them the city watches and comes and goes the city watch comes and goes knocking on doors to ask for signs of plague even our neighbors cannot be trusted earlier it was difficult to keep the children quiet now they sleep most of the time Ten flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting, so most of the time, Morse won't answer me when I try and talk to him from across the room. Morse is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children. Leaving the flat for a while near now, I found some plague bags from the guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morse in one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Young Moore, Robert has passed. The Star of my sky is gone. Page missing. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl, I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as the eye cut up and hagfish or vegetables. It's the fourth day of the month of the wind. I have fear now. No guards come here anymore. And then she died. I'm just gonna There you go guys I'm not gonna read all this stuff unless it's through notes or unless only way I can figure it out Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm.
Did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Iyer's new elixir is twisted as fluid again. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. Huh? Find you, you hagfish. Here you are. Which work? I know you're somewhere around here. I'll flush you out. I'll find you.
I guess everything's all right. I guess everything's all right. This city is built on the bones of the great ones. So the hyphen is gone. Darkness will fall. Sorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charms and such. You sound afraid. Damn right I am. Doubting ordinary man, touched by the outsider he is, given dark powers. He can slit your throat across the room. Well, that give him a leg up for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district, with them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. 
perfect place for a paid killer to hide. Fuck are you Don't looking be at? Sour. Shut up. Say, when's Slapjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. You'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Little bastard.
Don't let him get past. Where are you? Help me look for him. Where'd you run off to? He's as slippery as hagfish guts. I'm heading back. Someone's about I to get shit. Let him go. Here you are. <laughs> Anyone there? Come on, spread out. Someone's messed. It has to be nice. <laughs> That's an ink slapper, Rodney. Okay, I got one for you. Well, give it. Okay, here goes. The nobleman laid with the scullery man, so loudly they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butcher at night, carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done cut a both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. Um, okay, yeah, I got one. Ready? Nice. I'm listening. There once was a sailor from Morley, who fancied a woman most sorely. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no Morley. <laughs> ah, you win. You win. Well, I know a hundred of these old guys. My mummy used to tell them that name.
There's a strong drink made here. I tried it once, distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. The brothels sprang up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. Bye, buddy. 
hurt you. Never wash. Never, never, never. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. 